Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. First, I want to do disclaimer. This is not about attacking anyone. This is not um, directed toward anyone, but everyone in the body of Christ. People that actually, not even in the body of Christ, just people, um, lay people, but mainly leaders. Um, God actually had me up from Saturday night to this morning, just with this situation with Bobby Christina. Um, my heart goes out for her, for her family. Prayers are going forth like never before, and I thank God for that. Um, but one thing kind of really got my attention, and God actually was the one that kept impressing it in my spirit, in my ear, in my heart, and just letting me understand what was the, the um, catapult of everything. And what I'm saying is this. A lot of people are saying, okay, um, we're here for you. We're, we, 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 you know, we're praying for you. But my question is, what were you before it got to this point? And not only that, so many people in Hollywood, rappers that are friends with famous preachers are still dying. My question is, and this is, it really hit my spirit. I'm not understanding how the famous preachers are friends with some of these Hollywood stars that are dying, and yet they're not getting saved. So that means someone is not getting ministered to. What that means is that somebody is more worried about their um, position of being in a friendship manner than telling them the truth before God. Wake up, church. It is time for us to speak. We have lost our voice. We have lost our power. We have lost our love for one another. These people are dying. I'm talking about everybody's dying, and, and I understand that. But what I don't understand is how these famous preachers or preachers around, period, do not reach out and touch the ones that are hurting. I don't care if they have money. I don't care if they have fame. I don't care if they have family. I don't care if they don't have family. God is charging his church in this hour. Wake up, church. Touch somebody's life. Tell them that Jesus is coming. T tell them that Jesus is Lord. Ask them if they want to say the sinner's prayer. Tell them that you can help change their life. Tell them that this is not just about money. Tell them this is not just about fame. Tell them this is not just about being who they think they are. But that there's a real heaven. There's a real hell. God is not pleased with this foolishness. We always wait till something happens until we move. And then we want to be on one accord. When really we should stay on one accord because people are dying. And God is not pleased. It is time for this foolishness to stop. You're so busy worrying about being famous, money, matches, all this other stuff that really don't matter in the end. What matters is that life, that soul, that's going to hell if you don't tell them the truth. And some of you will not tell them the truth. Some of you are friends with some famous people that I know personally. And yet you have yet to witness God to them. Because you know, as soon as you do it, you won't be friends with them anymore. But guess what? I'd rather someone dislike me. And I'm going to tell them about Jesus. Because maybe, just maybe, their soul might be saved. It's time for the out for this foolishness. It's time out worrying about who gonna like you, who not gonna like you, who's gonna be your friend, protocol, politics. It's time to stop, God says. Tell people the truth. Love them back to life. Tell them there's a real hell. You're too scared. You don't want to tell people the truth, thinking about your position in their life. So what if they, you know, defriend you or whatever? It does not matter. I'd rather you hate me than not the fact that I didn't tell you that Jesus Christ loves you. That I didn't tell you that Jesus Christ came to save you. That I didn't tell you that Jesus Christ could heal you. That I didn't tell you Jesus Christ can deliver you. That I didn't tell you Jesus Christ got me out for drugs. I didn't tell you Jesus Christ saved me when I was getting high. I didn't tell you that Jesus Christ took me from that fornication. I didn't tell you that Jesus Christ saved me when I was on the street. Come on, somebody. Tell them the truth. People are dying. And the church has not stood up. We have lost our voice. And God is not pleased. It's a show. It's an entertainment spirit. People are not being healed and delivered for real. And this is a plea. Stop it. Stop it. Tell people the truth. They're dying. And the blood is on your hands. God is not pleased. So from this day forth, I pray. 
that you do your job. And your job is to tell them the truth. That God can heal. That God can deliver. That God can save them. Not alcohol. Not drugs. Not Hollywood. Not fame. Not money. But God. Everybody's concerned about this young lady's now. Where were you when she was really crying out? Where were you when Michael was crying out? Where were you when the others were crying out? But you're there when they're in, in, in their prime. You're there when, when, the, when everything is going great. We need to tell people the truth. Good, bad, indifferent. God is watching everybody. And everyone is accountable for their actions. You are accountable for what you do. And don't do what you say and don't say. Enough is enough, God says. And again, I say this with love. Not bashing anybody. Not, I'm angry. But it's, it's at the devil. The devil is stealing our people. The devil is taking people to hell because preachers don't want to say the truth because you're so busy being famous. You're so busy being well known, but yet you haven't even told that person who is famous, who is your friend, that Jesus is Lord. And that's it. God bless you all. And I pray from this day forth that you open your mouth and tell them the truth. In Jesus name. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. God bless.